Here we are, day number one of the comfort zone challenge. I love performing, but I feel a right tip doing this stuff. It's gonna get bigger and bigger. I think I've gone big too soon. La 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 Tiger face. Lemon face. Tiger face. Any shred of dignity I had. Has, has probably left. So I think this might be one of the easier of my challenges because I'm going to post something later tonight that is scaring the head out of me. Ah, oh, thank you. Day two, oh, I'm calling it Tarantula. I'm here at the Bristol uh, Reptile Emporium with Michelle Wilson. He's just going to get jinx. I know there's people out there with big goals. Uh, businesses themselves, maybe doing cold calls makes them scared, maybe doing public speaking uh, makes them scared. Um, this is petrified for me, here comes Michelle with, with Jinx. There are some strategies that you can use. A great a lady called Mel Robbins has come up with one. Between you taking, uh, deciding to take action and doing the action, you have about five seconds before your brain starts talking you out of it. Uh, five, four, three, Oh my God. This is day three of the comfort zone challenge. I can feel my heart rate rising. Hopefully I don't get slapped in the face. What would be the one thing that would make you feel outside of your comfort zone? Oh, answering a stranger's questions at an airport. <laughs> I don't have any regrets. Fantastic. You're a very lucky man. So far. Mine would be flying. Ice skating and roller skating, anything like that. You don't, you're not going to face your fear, you're not going to get on those skates. Absolutely not, <laughs> under any circumstances. <laughs> I think that's what I would say to people, is have a think about what makes you tick. What's your passion? What do you want to do in your life? And who do you want to do it for? And I reckon that once you discover that passion and, and your purpose, then I reckon you could do anything. I've called this challenge face value. Today I'm uh, without makeup. So what's the big deal? It all stems from Denise next door. I could just remember these words. My sister Antonia was um, pretty and I was attractive. When she said that, I made a judgment about myself. Human beings make things mean stuff. It's just what we do. We should probably accept some things that people say to us at face value that's their truth not your truth have a great one thanks a lot i'm doing an interview with an influencer he's very popular ricardo texera if you were to give one tip to people to improve their mindset what would that be language okay the language is very very important and i have a challenge to all of you what is the number one tip that you can give people to achieve their business or career goals very very important yeah. is to protect our self-confidence embrace our even our little wins what did it feel like to win the first part is okay we feel amazing but then we need someone to pull us back we are like a role model so the responsibility is huge once we we have that level everything that we do aside we want to be world champion some fantastic tips for me for you there from ricardo today i'm calling cliff edge i've liked cliff since i was a teenager that's cliff richard you may or may not have heard of him so i'm going to do a quick medley for you and have fun looking at the people behind uh, as they cringe lucky lips are always kissing lucky lips are never blue Got a roving eye and that is why she satisfies my soul. Got the one and only walking, talking, living doll. I want the world to know I'm happy as can be. I'm happy too. Oh, smashing. <laughs> I'm sure, yes, everyone else looks a bit bemused. I do feel a complete knob. I am definitely outside my comfort zone. You have a good one.